Welcome back. This is day 98 of the What Sold series. Let's jump right into those sales. The first sale of the day is this Johnny O button down shirt in a men's XL. It sold in about seven months for a best offer of $13 plus shipping. So number two was this Polo Ralph Lauren button down shirt in a men's XL. This one was linen, but it did have a flaw on the sleeve, so that did take away some of the value. It sold in two months for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. Without a flaw, this price sell for the $20 to $22 range. So number three was this vintage Border Town Western shirt in a men's large. It was a pearl snap, and it sold in 18 days for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This brand uh, border town doesn't have any value uh, there's no one looking for that brand but I knew uh, just from the print on this and being a Western shirt that it was gonna do good enough it was worth picking up um, and that is one thing with Western shirts uh, eBay is a very brand heavy platform so you really want to be selling on brands that people are looking for but Western shirts is one of the rare occasions that I will deviate from that if they have a really good pattern then I am willing to look past um, a no-name brand and still sell it just know that I'm not going to get a ton of money for it but I can still sell it decently as long as the pattern is good enough so number four was this hemp organic shirt in a, uh, this is a women's actually, and it was size XL. It took over a year to sell and it sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a perfect example of what I was saying. Um, organic cotton and hemp shirts actually do really well, but this was a no name brand. So that's why it didn't, it didn't sell very well and it took a long time to sell. I'm not sure what happened there, but this was supposed to be a Tory Richard Christmas shirt and it took three months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. So number six was this Apple employee shirt in a men's large. It sold in three days for full price $14 plus shipping. I priced this down because it did have a spot on it. It actually had two like light discoloration spots on the front. They were super light but I still wanted to point them out. Uh, if it didn't have those, I probably would have priced it closer to $18 to $20. So number seven, this is a cool sale. This is a, a Denim Supply Ralph Lauren shirt. That's one of my personal favorite brands of the Ralph Lauren, one of my personal favorite lines of Ralph Lauren. Um, it doesn't always command the most money, but as long as you price it accurately, it will sell quickly. And this one did sell quickly. It sold in 21 days for a best offer of $24 plus shipping and almost anything camo or American flag from denim supply is going to do well because that is kind of what they're known for. So number eight was this Rourke flannel shirt in a men's small. This one was really nice. It had snap buttons. It was thick. It was really good quality and it sold in 15 days for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. I'm really happy with that sale being that it was only a size small. So number nine, I'm also really happy with this sale. This is a pair of Nike shorts. These are the Tech Pack shorts, and they're in a men's XL. So almost all the tech stuff, uh, the Nike Tech Pack stuff does really well. And it's kind of just a feel thing when it comes to picking up Nike shorts for me, especially just you know plain ones like this. They're just black. But I could tell that they were a higher quality ones when I touched them, and that's what made me pick them up. I didn't look up the specific style code because if I spent – Every time I'm at the thrift store looking up every Nike style code, I'd be there forever. I would pick up only a couple items because I'd be looking up all the Nike items. So you do have to kind of just get a feel for these types of things. What feels more quality, what looks more quality, what looks a little bit different, feels a little bit different. And that was these. And like I said, they sold in one day for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. And that's a great price to get for just a pair of Nike shorts. And the comps were actually even a little bit higher than this. I think they were selling closer to like 30 bucks, but I'm, I'm willing to let it go for a quick sale. I probably picked them up for seven bucks. So number 10 was this Patagonia flannel shirt in a men's small. I was able to find the name of this flannel. It was called the Fajord um, using the style. And I think that did help it sell quickly and for the most amount of money. It sold in one day for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And like I said, this was only a men's small. So number 11 was this Gymshark tank top in a men's 2XL. It took four months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. 
Tank tops aren't a good thing to sell, even in desirable brands. They aren't do they don't do that well. So be careful when picking up tank tops, and just know, uh, don't pay up for them because they're not going to be selling for very much. So number twelve was this nice Lululemon shirt in a men's two XL. It took about a month and a half to sell, and it sold for the full sale price of twenty two dollars plus shipping, and that was with a little flaw in it. So number thirteen was this vintage Looney Tunes shirt in a men's large tall. It sold in seven months for a best offer of seven dollars plus shipping. This was cut really weird. Uh, I I wish that it was if it was more of a normal cut. And being that it was Christmas time, this probably would have sold for fifteen to twenty bucks. But it was just cut really weird, and uh, it was tall, but it wasn't like a tall on the tag or anything, and uh, it was really slim. So, oh well, I'm just happy to get it sold. Cell number 14 was this Fabletics training shirt in a men's XL. It was new with tags, but it still took seven months to sell and it sold for the sale price of $20 plus shipping. You're going to find lots of Fabletics stuff new with tags at thrift stores from time to time. Um, I think this is because they do like the mail order subscription thing. So people get a lot of these items and probably end up not wearing them. Um, and they already paid for them because they did like a subscription service type thing. So they're going to get donated. They're going to be new with tags. And they aren't going to hold a ton of value because they're so oversaturated. But if you can still pick them up for regular thrift store prices, then you're going to do pretty well on most of the new with tag stuff. So number 15 was the Simon Bank shirt in the men's 15.5. So that's like a medium, maybe even a small and uh, this was a Christmas print. It had the gingerbread and candy canes on it. So this is the time to sell it. It took nine months to sell and it sold for a best offer of $8 plus shipping. If this is all I'm getting this close to Christmas, then these just are bad buys and I won't be picking up items like this going forward. So number 16 was this Dixon flannel and a men's 2XL. This one was called the Kraken. Let me show you guys the tag real quick. Right there, the Kraken. And it sold in two months for a best offer of $45 plus shipping. Um, I haven't talked about it for a while, but this came from a bunch of different Dixon flannel buyouts that I did over the span of a couple weeks. I bought a bunch of them. I paid an average of $27 per item. Um, I paid up and because I was actually going on a trip to Sacramento, so I wanted to get ahead on some items. So I tried to get a bunch of these in a short amount of time. And even though I was paying up for them, I was still hoping just to make at least $10 profit per item on them. So I might pull that data soon and see where we're at and see how we're doing profit wise. So stay tuned for a video on that soon. So number 17 was this Carmen Pearl Snap Western shirt in a men's 17. It sold in three months for a best offer of $22 plus shipping. Carmen is not the best uh, Western shirt brand. It's actually a pretty low end Western shirt brand. But any Western shirt that has embroidery like this above the pockets is going to do decently. And like I said, this was no exception. Three months and $22. bucks. i will take that for a low end Western brand any day. So number 18 was this Rain Spooner Hawaiian shirt in a men's XL. It sold in 24 days for full price, $25 plus shipping. Um, I'm not e exactly sure what this print is. I didn't have any good keywords for it and I was still able to get 25 bucks for it. So this might be um, a little bit more rare and a sought after print. I'm, I'm not sure, like I said, this is all speculation, but just based on the fact that there aren't good keywords here and it's still sold in under a month in the middle of winter for full price, 25 bucks, it just has me thinking um, and questioning if this is a more rare print or not. So number 19 was this Panhandle Slim Western shirt. This is what you're really looking for in Western shirts. The smile pockets, that's these pockets down here that are slanted and look kind of like a smile. Embroidery on the top. Um, this is just a great one. And Panhandle Slim is more of a middling brand, so it's not the best brand. But this still sold in just six days for full price, $45 plus shipping. And that is because all of the accents, um, all of the embroidery and the smile pockets. Uh, sale number 20 in the final sale of the day was this Wrangler denim vest in a men's large. It sold in two days for full price $30 plus shipping and that was with a few spots on the front of it. I was actually really surprised by this sale. Um, a lot of the Wrangler stuff doesn't do super well unless it's more of a vintage item or something you know way more unique or obscure and this just seemed pretty simple to me. So uh, I was really surprised by the sale, really happy about it and uh, yeah two days 30 bucks can't complain. 
But that's it for the sales. Let's go ahead and jump to those numbers. On December 7th, we sold 20 items for a total gross sales of $586.14, giving us an average sale price of $29.31. A little low on the average sale price, but we did sell our full 20 items. So overall, I'm still pretty happy with the day. Let me go ahead and show you guys the rest of the numbers. As you know, the ones that eBay provides are inaccurate. So the selling costs for today were $192.57. The breakdown for that is $71.69 in eBay final value fees, $110.65 in shipping labels, and $10.23 in promoted listing fees. Just six of the 20 sales came via promoted listings, so a little bit less than normal, but I promote all my items at 5%, so I'm happy to pay those extra fees to get those extra sales. Now, if you take away those selling costs, as well as the tax and fees collected by eBay, away from the gross sales amount, it's going to give us our net sales for today of $393.57. We still need to take away our cost of goods. Our current average cost of goods for this month is $12.35. That's the current average cost of goods that we're using this month, but it's averaging the previous three months of buys. So for 20 items at $12.35 per item, gives the total cost of goods for the day of $247 even. Now if we take that away from our net sales, it's gonna give us our net profit for the day of $146.57. Uh, it is a little bit low profit per item, so 146 for only 20 items, that's only $7 and something per item. That's because our average sale price was low today. Um, our average sale price for last month was right around $35, so uh, that's a you know almost six bucks less uh, today, and that is cutting into the profit. But overall, I'm still pretty happy with this, the sales today. We did sell our full 20 items that we're trying to sell, and uh, we're moving out some of those lower end items and hopefully replacing them with some better ones. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 99 of the What Sold series. Peace.